Hi, hello, good day, Kiora. Welcome to the studio. I have finally finished the four journals that I wanted to make. Three of these are for the Defemarimba series. So 2021, 2022, 2023. And then I've made a fourth journal to put in everything else that I've done so far that I consider to be a sample. So that's essentially my sort of catch up um, sample journal. So I'm going to do a quick um, a flip through of all four journals now that they're finished. Now, by finished, I mean they the journal base is completed and they are ready for all the ephemera to be added as part of the ephemera respect for the respective years and also for any for the extra stuff. So we will start with um, 2023 and work backwards. So I should say, that now the common things about them is they've all got um, a fabric cover. And you would have heard me explain that in the making video I've done for this. So it is a five layer fabric cover they have all been hand stitched with this variegated thread and it's a wax thread um, that I it, it's my favorite thread it's my go-to thread um, I just love it and given that these are all so such different color you know covers and colors I thought, well, that would be something that would um, could make some sort of continuity through them. All the covers have got sort of stitching around the outside and then random stitching across the cover itself. They've all got one of these large bra um, eyelets in them. They've all got three signatures. Each signature has got three pages. And to two of those pages per signature I have added some kind of um, starting ephem ephemera or more sort of page design in terms of like pockets and envelopes and tuck spots, belly bands, that kind of thing. So here we go, we will start with this one and then go through to the others. So, oh, and they've all got the one of these sheets here, and these were out of one particular Daphne's Diary magazine. So I thought, okay, well, I'll put one of these in. They're all talking about cats, um, and all have this sort of color scheme. And I thought, no, that's pretty cool. I'll put that in. So. Here I've got a tuck spot and this is based on a tutorial that Louisa did um, and this is jelly printing on a piece of Tim Holtz tissue. I've got pages out of magazines, mainly Daphne's Diary or Flow magazine. These are pages from some dyeing that I did and I had a whole lot of very wet tissues left over so I laid the tissues out between the um, copier paper just to see what the effect would be and this is what I got out of it. And then here I've made a gusseted envelope you can see the gusset there out of a jelly print and that's some more of the the tissue that I dried in between those pages so jelly print and a lot of these I've stuck like 
two jelly prints together and then where I've done that I have stitched around the pages to make sure that everything would stay together as well as add some interest. I've then got a, this is a sort of Franken page and it's a flip out. Um, using a lot of the scraps that I've sort of picked for this this particular journal in terms of colour bit of um, like book pages, there's watercolour paper, dyed coffee filters, scrapbook paper, some handmade paper, pattern pages, you name it there's a bit of everything in there. More jelly print paper, that's um, one of those in between pages for the napkins. I've made a belly band here and this is using papers that, at least the, the two lower layers are pages that I had added some wax to it. Then a cover from a Daphne's diary and I've added a flip out envelope. Um, this was my favourite page, I love the way that sort of crunched up there and just the intensity of the colour there, something really different. And then I've made a multi pocket, multi sort of tuck spot pocket um, and just kind of decorated that with some vintage tickets, a wax seal that I've made and just some scraps. Um, as a, just as a sort of base and we'll see what happens from there. So that's the 2023 Defemarimba journal that I'll be using the, in, for that particular series of prompts. So this is for 2022. My, another page there with the cats. I've got a flip out here, so we've got tuck spots on either side and then it flips out again and then each of these is a pocket and then there's a, also a hidden pocket under here. Jelly prints, more jelly prints. It was an opportunity for me to use up all these jelly prints that I've been saving and absolutely loved but didn't want to use a belly band here and I love and I didn't want to use them because I love them so much so I thought well okay let's use them up so that I can make some more um, more jelly prints so this is a flip up made from some I guess it's like a paper rather than a fabric that was around some flowers I got um, years ago. I've turned it into a flip up and I've just put some lace and ribbon across the top. And then beneath that is a gusseted pocket. More jelly prints. This was a page in Daphne's Diary um, magazine. I just love the sort of watercolour look there. And a lot of these jelly prints where they were too short, I've added paid paper on, or like book paper on either one end or both ends. And then this is a flip out and flip up and sort of kind of like a folio, but not quite. Here I've got a tuck spot um, with tucks on either side and I've just used um, for the last three journals I went through and I looked at some old 12 by 12 paper packs that I've had for absolutely years and have just been hoarding for no reason other than I like them so much so I thought well let's use them so that's what I've done I love the colour combination here. I think it's very cool. And then this is a asymmetrical um, gusseted pocket uh, envelope. 
so and I've held that in place with some uh, faux vintage sellotape and then it flips out as well and I had so much trouble with this closure you would not believe and I don't know why why I had the trouble but yeah it was the bane of my life for at least one night so that's that journal ready to go the next journal is for the 2021 year so I still need to catch up on the ephemera to go through into this one and for 2022 so here I've created a little wee tuck spot on this side and then this was inspired by something that Louisa did in her journal in the 2022 year. She folded into a triangle one of the pages and I just thought that was so cool. So it folds up so you can use it underneath here but then you've got essentially a little wee pocket as well which i thought okay that looks really cool i have no idea how i'll use it but i love the idea and the concept so more jelly prints this was a page out of i think daphne's diary um, jelly print there um, again another set of papers and then i've turned this into a this is the top one is gusseted with hidden red gussets and then these two smaller ones are just flat pockets but I thought that's really cool and I love that it's flip out so you can still see the jelly print underneath then second signature we've got a triple belly band so all three layers you can put something underneath We've got more jelly prints more papers from magazines and then this is a multi-layered so you can flip out so you've got space there flip out and then over this side it's a triple flip out and so yeah that's what that looks like and then you can always stick something down on top of there so i just love that there's lots of different sized things there love this jelly print now this is a gusseted or yeah i think it's gusset called a gusseted um, pocket made from paper bags and then I've just done a little wee tuck spot for the flap over the um, envelope or pockets whatever you want to call it and created it so that as stuff goes in there it will expand as well just by putting creases in the top more jelly prints and then this is a triple layer journaling spot so we've got with pockets in between each here so we've got flip open the pocket flip open pocket flip open and then a pocket underneath So that is the 2021 journal and then this one is the one that I've made for anything else that sort of hasn't been done under a prompt and so we've got our matching page here and then we've got a little wee accordion pocket so these are all pockets and plus you've got three pages here that you can write on and then I just thought, thought for something different 
a ribbon bow to keep it all closed and also that will allow for um, putting stuff in there so it doesn't matter if it expands at all jelly prints now this is a gusset envelope and it's made from two prints there held together with some more faux um, vintage sellotape book pages with well yeah magazine pages with book pages to extend them and I put a you know a lot of these pages that were a little bit shorter on an angle to add extra height um, and they were the A4 pages now this I've got ribbon bow there and it folds down and we've got three little wee pockets there again you know just I wanted to have like, a whole lot of different um, additions to pages where I can put pieces of ephemera as I create it or as just even ideas as you know extra to the ephemera prompts that we have love this jelly print page then just got a triple flip out nice and simple more magazine pages uh, another belly band and this is just it was actually a strip from a 12 by 12 um, pattern paper that had been divided into like some strips and then some journal cards so I cut sort of the strips out and then attached that to some vintage ribbon and I've just sewn that onto the page and this is another cover from a Daphne's Diary magazine and then this is a like a, an envelope where I've cut off the top but I've made it out of patterned paper double sided it so it's got double sided patterned paper and then cut out little wee finger tuck spots in there so again so that you can put something underneath and but then add something over the top so those are the journals if you've got any questions about any of the journals, um, what I did, how I made them, by all means let me know. There will be um, videos on how I made this one but not the others because they basically followed the same processes here except for the ephemera or page editions rather than ephemera that I've put in. So hopefully you like them. I'm looking forward to now filling them up, um, adding all sorts of things. They don't have closures because I've got no idea how large and how full they're going to get, but I'm looking forward to filling them up. Don't be afraid to use up some of those things that you've been saving. I've used up, used up fabrics, I've used up jelly prints, I've used up materials that I have had, that I've been saving because I loved them so much, but then I was too afraid to use them. So I've bitten the bullet, literally, on these three, four, four journals to say I'm going to use up those things that you know I've been saving rather than just having them sitting in drawers and in containers and files not even being looked at so now I can look at them so I hope you do the same I'm going to challenge you to do that and if you do let me know let me know what you've used that you've been hoarding bye for now